The Story of the Butterfly Children Far, far away from here, the butterfly folk live in the butterfly kingdom. The little children are called chrysalids, and they play joyfully in the beautiful gardens. The butterfly maidens watch over the chrysalids as they play and tell them all about the plants and the pretty, brightly colored flowers. How wonderful they smell. The butterfly folk are very happy to have such fine gardens. How lucky they are. The chrysalids' baby brothers and sisters are called caterpillars. Their nursery is in the green meadow where Mother Silk Moth and Mother Swallowtail take care of them. They spin new gowns for the little caterpillars and make sure their bottles are filled with green leaf juice. When they get sleepy, the caterpillars nap in silken hammocks that swing gently between the trees. Every afternoon the chrysalids go to Madame Dragonfly's dancing school and there they learn how to dance among the flowers and balance on the thin stalks and grasses. Madame Dragonfly takes their hand and helps them to practice. One day they will all be as graceful and elegant as she is. The first day of spring is a very special day. The spring sun sends his messengers, the sunbeams, down to the butterfly kingdom and they present the chrysalids with their wings. How noble the sunbeams look in their golden robes and how brightly their golden lances shimmer. What an exciting day! The cabbage white and the brimstone butterflies are the first to receive their wings. Well, they have learned all about the flowers and the plants and how to dance and weave among the stalks and grasses. They have done well. Together they flutter happily over the green meadows. Soon all of the other butterflies receive their wings and follow their friends into the air for they are not chrysalids any longer. They have become beautiful butterflies. The sky is full of color as peacock, swallowtail, tortoise shell, red admiral, monarch, and many other butterflies dance and flutter all around. How happy they are to see each other. When nighttime comes, the moths have a long torchlight procession to celebrate this special day, for they have received their wings too. The butterflies are all invited, and the ones that have not already gone to bed join the moths and dance through the air with them. What a sight it is! They sing songs to welcome springtime, and they give thanks for their wings. The meadow flowers snoozing by the wayside are woken up by the gentle wing beats. They uncurl their petals and they listen to the songs. And if you listen very carefully, they will tell you all about it. <laughs>